This video shows you what popover components are and how to add and configure them in your application pages. A popover component is a temporary panel that floats over other content to provide contextual help and information when a user selects a triggering element. Use them to display information, a menu, or input fields with action buttons. And because popovers are global components, one popover could contain multiple triggers for different buttons and positional settings. In the Vancouver release, we've redesigned the popover component with a what you see is what you get interface to make it easy for low-code developers to add and configure them. In our example, we want to add a popover menu that appears when the user clicks a gear icon. We're logged into UI Builder, displaying the page we want to add the popover component to. The updated content tree displays modals and popovers in their own category, separate from the main content, because they don't have positional relationships with other components. Let's add a new popover here. An empty popover appears, and on the right are the configuration options. The positioning to trigger option determines the relative position of the popover at the top, bottom, right, or left of the trigger. Auto, which is the default, places the popover in the best position depending on the available space. The toggles allow you to enable or disable a tail on the popover, which points to the trigger, as well as a scroll bar. We add content to our popover, in this case, a text link. The next step would be to adjust the configuration settings for the link. We'll skip to the next step, adding a triggering event for the popover. We access the gear icon by navigating to the setting button in the content tree and selecting the events tab. In the event handler panel, we choose either an existing popover or create a new one. We choose the popover we just created. The open popover event handler is added to the events tab. An icon displays in the content tree to indicate that there's a triggering event associated with this button. We select the popover in the content tree and it moves to the setting button, providing a preview of where it will appear. Other possible triggers on the page appear, so we can preview the popover's position if we want to set it up with multiple triggers. The visibility icon indicates which trigger we are previewing, and we can click the settings button to make changes. So, adding a low-code popover component to your page gives you an easy way to provide contextual help and information for your application users. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.